I believe the cool kids call these leaps. Today we have something exotic from a far off land, or shall I say a far off universe, the Marvel Universe. This is the Lumen Top Ant-Man. And this is a very unique light, probably the most exotic and most expensive light on my channel thus far. This does not use an LED or light emitting diode. It uses a whole nother technology called LEP, it stands for laser excited phosphor. So basically a laser projects onto a piece of fo white phosphor and that's what is reflecting the light out through the lens. You get a really tight beam, almost like a laser pointer-esque beam. So uh, very low lumens, uh, I believe it's 165 lumens, but very high candela, meaning the light that actually hits the destination is, is very intense in that spot there. It's over 87,000 candela. So very excited to take a look at this thing. I just had to give this thing a shot. <laughs> it's unlike anything I have. And uh, like I said, it's expensive, but I think it's cool. Uh, I don't know if it's still the world's smallest LEP flashlight, but that's what Lumentops claimed, at least when it came out about a year ago or so. So yeah, let's check this thing out. All right, we're going to run through all the different modes of the Lumentop Ant-Man. So buckle up, get ready, brace yourself. We've got off and on. That's it. Two modes, very awesome. I will say uh, you can actually use this in a momentary fashion by like lightly pressing the switch and then releasing. So you do have kind of momentary operation without the full click if you like, but that's it for modes and operation. Pretty awesome. I don't love doing full on unboxings on this channel, but I will show you the packaging. This light comes in pretty nice box. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess you can get this light in different materials too, which is pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, nice box, foam cutout inside. Also comes with this manual. And I will uh, open this up so you can see. Really, you only need to worry about about three, four sections of this folding uh, manual which is nice, the rest is just to repeat in different languages. There's your specs, battery compatibility, warranty information, uh, five year free repair. That is fantastic. And then 30, year, or 30 day free replacement. So great warranty on this light. And as you can see, it uses 14500s exclusively. There's the rest of that. With that said, let's take this thing outside. Let's check out the Ant-Man in action. Let's see if we can stretch that tree line. Yes, we can. Wow. So just consider that a light of this size is reaching out to that distance. My camera is struggling, but this, this can give you a little bit of an idea of what this light's doing. This shot gives a little bit better perspective. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of light reaches this destination, which is really cool. By the time it gets there, the hotspot's big enough for you to be able to identify things. Pretty sweet. Let's run the Lumen Top Ant-Man through the flashlight optimization chart. I'm going to do this in record time because it's midterms this week. I don't have time for this. I got to study. Um, but yeah, we got on and off. Pretty nice UI, momentary if you need it as well. Tightest beam profile you can imagine. Even in comparison with other LEPs I've seen in other videos, this thing is very tight, very precise. Um, yeah, performance, kind of went over that. Um, you, if you're interested in the lumens and the candela, it's in the manual earlier in the video, uh, as well as run times. Durability uh, is pretty awesome. You got a one meter drop rating and two meter IPX8 water rating. Excellent warranty, five year free repair. 30 day replacement uh, appearance. I think it looks good. Um, this is an aluminum. Anodization seems good. I like this little brass. I don't know if it's actually made of brass, but I like this little collar here. Um, good clip too, nice sturdy clip. Another thing I really like is this glow ring over here. Uh, it's a nice touch. Flashlight companies don't need to do this, but I really think it's cool. Um, maybe more cool than practical, but still. Um, I like that on the uh, Lumen Top Tool AA as well. This one's got a green glow ring around in the bezel. So uh, yeah, like that as well when it comes down to appearance. Um, let's see, sweet satisfaction. Is this thing fun to use and satisfying in any way? Yes, it is. Uh, very first LEP I've played with and <clears throat> it is quite fun. 
And actually my wife thinks this is the coolest light that I've got recently. She loves this thing. She likes to play with it too. So let's uh, take that for what it's worth. Price and availability. This thing is pretty pricey. Um, the barrier to entry for LEPs is still pretty high. I predict they'll become more prolific and more affordable um, with time, but for right now, still pretty pricey. I was able to pick this one up for under $60 on AliExpress, but they're up <clears throat> in the low 70s right now. So you may just wanna hold on for it to go on sale again if you're interested in picking one of these up. Or if you're not balling on a budget, then just go for it. But in any case, yeah, I think they're pretty available to you on your major online retail retailers. Not too hard to come by. Um, versatility, basically uh, long distance illumination. That's what this thing's good at. Not so much for close range illumination, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you could definitely carry this. It's, it's, it's definitely small enough. Okay, that happens in every video. I'm not editing that out. It's as real as it gets around here. You know how we do this here on Pardon My English, low production value. But yeah, as you can see, EDC flashlight. So it's kind of how it's marketed. Take this with you anywhere. I need to, <laughs> I do need to get the chart back up here so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for versatility. There's probably other use cases. Um, I'm not like a security or tactical dude, but I imagine these could have some application for that too. Maybe, uh, uh, I know larger LEPs are used at sea sometimes to signal other boats on the shore and stuff like that. I don't know if this could do that because of its size, but anyway. Uh, drawbacks, probably just the, I mean, yeah, I mean, up close, it's just the nature of what an LEP is. When it comes to LEPs, I'm not uh, too qualified to talk about pros and cons, I guess. I don't have anything to compare this to. Um, for, for right now, I would just say price. Everything else I like about it seems pretty cool. Um, the fact that you can pick an LEP up in this size is pretty um, interesting to me is why I ended up going for this in the first place. Bang for beam value. Um, if you're looking for a small pocketable LEP, uh, I don't know of a lot of other lights on the market that fit that description other than this one. So yeah, if it's worth it to you, you know, value is more than just the price of something. It's what you get for the money. And I think this is leading in the industry right now as far as the size for LEP technology. So yeah, I've got to say it's a good value if this is the kind of thing you're looking for. But on that one, we're going to wrap it up. Really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoy content like this, uh, if you leave a like on the video, it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and like videos like this. Otherwise, God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye.